One of the favorite kinds of stories they like to do at the CBC is to find some foreign poobah at the United Nations or some international NGO to disparage Canada. They seem to love that at the CBC as if someone being from abroad gives them a moral authority to disparage Canada in a way that the CBC themselves couldn't get away with. And so it is with this news story from Margot McDermott who found in the person of the German ambassador to Canada someone willing to take a crack at Canada the oil sands, and by implication, Stephen Harper himself. Here, take a listen to this quote from the German ambassador in the CBC. Of course we know that the oil sands and the production of oil in the oil sands does produce a lot of carbon, and Canada needs to deal with it, he said. I didn't know it was the approach of any foreign government to come to Canada and tell us what to do in our domestic economy and to shut down the oil sands, but it's particularly strange in Germany's case. My first point is that Germany is a massive economy that runs on fossil fuel. 45% of their electricity comes from coal, which is a high carbon source of fuel. I got nothing against coal. It keeps the lights of the world on. But why would a country like Germany that's so heavily into coal disparage a country like Canada that isn't? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? But what about oil? and gas. That's really what this ambassador is criticizing Canada for and what the CBC is jumping on with. Well, Germany buys about a third of its oil and gas from Russia, from Vladimir Putin, financing Putin's expansion, his invasions of Georgia, of Ukraine. And what oil and gas Germany doesn't buy from Russia, it buys from OPEC states, from dictatorships, including from Libya, which is half run by the Islamic State, and even from Iran. Why do you think a German ambassador would disparage the oil sands? It's got nothing to do with his job as an ambassador. Do you think it's to distract from Germany's own disgraceful consumption of conflict oil from Russia and OPEC and its own carbon footprint? For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.